Hey YouTube, what's going on? It's been a hot minute since I put up a video. Uh, obviously, like pretty much everybody else in the world, you know, life gets in the way sometimes of doing videos. But it's not stopping me from picking up any books. Um, recently, in the last few weeks, neighboring town had their attic and cellar days. So I was out, you know, looking through yard sales and trying to find comics and whatnot, but didn't really find anything this year. We have a local literacy group that has uh, a bookstore attached to it. Always had good deals on hardcover. I buy a lot of books there. Um, but they recently had some comics in there. And this flipped through really quick. They had like a buck a piece. It's pretty much for charity too. So I grabbed three. Um, I know I needed this one. This is issue four. Six issue miniseries for Ragman Cry of the Dead. Did not have that. So I was happy to find that one there. And these I don't, I don't see very often. Um, I wasn't sure if I had this one or not, but I picked it up anyways. This is third of four issues of Dr. Fate, number three. Turns out I already had that one. Um, this one, again, I wasn't sure if I had it or not, but um, one of my favorite characters is the Adam. So, sort of the Adam special, number three. I'm not sure if I had that one. I haven't looked that one up yet, but I uh, like that one anyways. So, yeah. This, that was just at a lo lo you know, local kind of bookstore. I I haven't picked up um, recent issues. People show those. I don't need to show those often. But uh, a new store up in Buffalo kind of opened up. Um, it's well, there's in Buffalo one of the big stores is Queen City Bookstore, and they opened up the kind of like a warehouse store just outside of Buffalo. Um, and I say their post was they had three hundred short boxes of all dollar comics. <laughs> so of course I had to check it out. They opened up last week, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I didn't go the first day. Went the second day. I picked up a good stack of books. Um, they had a deal. I said everything was a dollar. Or they had 50 books for 40, 100 for 75. And I believe they had a short box deal, but I wasn't sure what that was. I was, you know, I really thought, well, I was, say, I was hoping um, it'd kind of be like their. Their Queen, the Queen City Bookstore, which they have a lot of back issues for a dollar, really good stuff. This was more modern stuff, more modern recent back issues, which which is fine. This wasn't really what I was looking for. Um, I did see some guys pulling out some pretty good stuff um, from what they're saying. I'm, like I don't, I'm not into like a lot of the, a lot of newer stuff or, or the key issues are or whatever. But um, people seem happy, so that was great. Um, they had a section off, obviously Marvel, DC, indie stuff, so it was relatively. Organized that way. A lot of it, with the short box, a lot of it were in alphabetical order. So that made it easy. Not everything was, but uh, if you find one box that was like T's, most of the stuff in the box were T's. Um, so that was that made it pretty easy. One thing I was happy to find, I was really hoping I would find, would be some authority issues. Um, this is this is number 10, but this is the Lost Year. I didn't really see it was the Lost Year. It's not a series that I'm collecting, but I think I'm going to start. They had quite a few of these issues up there. So I'm not sure how many are in the run. But that was issue 10 of that. Uh, issue, um, issue, volume 5 is really hard to find. At least by in my area. So I was happy to find number 14 of that. 14, 17. I found number 20. Number twenty-five. These, this is this is one thing I was hoping I would find, um, and then one of the was one of the very first box I went to in any section. Obviously, A's. Um, they were right there. This is a pretty cool cover of the Authority Twenty-Eight. So yeah, that's one thing I was very glad to find. Um, you think finding fifty books would be easy? <laughs> it wasn't. Um, I try to try to stick to my list. But when I was going through, I wasn't really finding anything. I wasn't finding anything. I found some things that maybe I wanted to pick up. wasn't sure. Um, some things that were on my list, but were kind of like, like uh, I'll, I'll show you later. I'll run. I'm trying to collect somewhat in order. Otherwise, I don't want. I don't want to jump around too much. But I'll show you that when I get to it. Um, here's a series I completely forgot about. Um, um, and ever since I think, like a lot of people, the Brubaker Epting run in Captain America for me was phenomenal. 
So I started collecting a lot of their stuff after. And one of the runs that I really liked was Velvet. This is thir this is 13. I don't know if I had this one. I can't remember how many issues I went to, but I know I have a bunch of these. So for a dollar, I was going to pick it up. Well, 80 cents, I should say. Um, and this is number 14. So yeah, I remember the ones I read of this, I really liked. I don't know why I, st I took off my pull list for whatever. Um, but really enjoyed that one. Speaking of Brew Baker, Brew Baker and Phillips, this is criminal number nine. Closing and finish off that run. And I think I have this issue, but I don't think I have this cover. This is Airboy number 51. I don't think I have this cover. This is a thick book, too. Really thick book. This is number 51. Like that one. And this is the Airboy series that I heard was very different <laughs> from the original. And when I flipped through the first issue, I, it was clear that it was way different. Um, but I think this is only four issues from Image that came out. So I get issues one. And if you read this, you know how different it is. It's issue three. And issue four. So I need issue two of that. This is another one I was picking up off the shelf. I picked up the first couple issues of it. Really enjoyed the first um, volume of this. I'm not sure if it picks up or anything to do with the first one. But this is American Way. From Vertigo. Um, this is number three. This is what, November 2017. The first, I think the first series was an eight issue series I really liked. Number four. And number six. Really surprised to find this. Um, Anything with Joker is was is, I think is you know is pretty hot of lately of or, or any time for that matter, and you throw Harley Quinn on top of it, you know, which is ridiculous. Not a big fan of Harley Quinn as far as most people are, but you know when I saw these I wasn't gonna leave them there, and they're they're a little rough, but what the hell is issue one of four of Joker mask? Issue one and issue. Too. It's really surprising that um, these were there, given that the fact I know there's a ton of people there Friday night, um, and then Saturday there was quite a few people there, and they were putting more books out as I was flipping through, so they were actually putting stacks of books on top of the boxes. Um, but I said a lot of not newer stuff, which is what like I said, which is fine. And then I probably will go back and start hitting some stuff that um, of last years I haven't picked up, like the Fantastic Four run. There's a lot of Daredevil stuff I saw, so there's some stuff in there that. I'm, Definitely interested. Um, so this this was this was what I was talking about. This was on my list, but I'm trying to if I can collect it from like one through ten or one through twenty, and then go from twenty to thirty or forty. Try to keep it in that range. I don't see a lot of lower issues, so I don't really pick that much up. But I think I had uh, forty five bucks. So I needed five more. So I just grabbed five issues I could. And it turns out I only had 49. Needed to fit, whatever. But uh, so I grabbed six issues of this really quick. And this is the JLA. I run number 68. This is the prelude to the Obsidian, Obsidian Age. Uh, they didn't have 69, which I kind of wish they did. Um, but I picked up 68. This is 70. This is the Obsidian Age. The Hunt for Aquaman Part 2. Number 70. 71. I like that cover. So I was I try to keep them in order. 72. 73. And 74. This is part six. I don't know how many parts are there, but that's part six. Now I'm a sucker for anything with do with JSA. I always like the characters. I mean, I don't know a ton about them. Um, I've read the one full run that I have. Read that. So anything JSA, like obviously Hawkman and all the Doctor Midnight, Hour Man. This is a Just Society Returns All Star Comics number one it's from nineteen ninety nine. I like that. So I got uh, JSA All Stars number seven. 
terrific. And these are pretty thick books too. That's seven of eight. And then I got eight of eight. So going on with the JSA stuff, I was happy to find not only I found book one and then later in the box I found two and three. Um, let's see how the orders go. This, this goes. This book one. Book one of Dr. Midnight. These are these are little prestige format kind of kind of thicker books. This is issue book one of three, two of three, and three of three. Art's a little weird in this. Not gonna lie, I flipped through a little quick. Um, so I'm hoping the story's good. But for 80 cents a piece, what the hell? I will always pick these books up for a dollar. I can't remember what issue this is. I'm not gonna open it up and look, but it's the issue of Super Friends. I always like picking those up for a dollar or less. Starting to pick up some Avenger stuff, kind of like the from the 80s and stuff, kind of the era that I like. Um, Doctor Druid, um, Thor, She-Hulk, Black Knight. Kind of always like that team. Not the best team, probably, but uh, it's kind of like when I was collecting, so I find those, I'll pick them up. And I just saw this, I thought maybe it would be a good read. Super Size Annual, um, number 17, The Avengers, The Evolutionary War. <clears throat> that looked pretty interesting. Got Steve Rogers as the captain there. So, I'll give that a read. Picked up some Hulk issues. Not really particularly on my list, but... Uh, I always try to pick up the Peter David stuff when I can. At 374. 380. 382. And 388. So again, not on my list, but um, I don't have many, so it's not easy. It's kind of easy to remember which ones I have or don't have. Now, on my rack over here, I do have a bunch of these Marvel. Was these from like this from the 80s, 80, 45? Um, little four issue mini series. I don't I don't have this one. I don't know. I see it all the time, but I always pass it over. This is the Iceman series. So this is number two, two or four, and three or four. So I need to pick this up and the first uh, Firestar one. So I always say I always I see them a lot. I just always pass them over. Don't see these very often for my run. Never find number one. I don't think it exists because I never see it anywhere. Um, even you know, uh, mycomicshop.com or whatever, never find it. But just the Immortal Iron Fist, number 25. I love that cover. So I'm working on that run for a few years. But I said, I never find number one ever. <coughs> Marvel 2 and 1. I know I'm sure this is a variant cover. So I know I don't have this one. I don't know if I have this issue or not. This is the, the newer run that came out recently. This is number 9. So I'm not sure if I have the regular issue, but uh, I definitely have the variant. And I'm not a variant guy, but uh, why not? This is a replacement. I bought this when it first came out. This is a Winter Soldier miniseries. Rick Remender. But reading it, my finger stuck to the cover and actually pulled the cover out. Pulled the color right out of the cover. So I'll replace that one. And I think this is the series I heard of was really good. Um, it's a recent, recent series. This is number one of the Winter Soldier. Um, so yeah. Going along with Winter Soldier, why not pick up some Falcon stuff? <laughs> so, this came out a few years ago. Done the whole Marvel Legacy stuff. I know I have number one. I might have number two. But I just picked up two again. Two. Issue three. Issue four. Issue number six. So I need number five. And number seven. So yeah, why not? And then, obviously, you've probably seen some stuff I've done with my Defender stuff. I got some books from CJ. The only one I'm missing number is number 10 now. And we're st I'm still waiting for my income tax. But once I get my income tax, I will buy number 10. I finish off my Defender's run. And so anything with defenders, I'm gonna I, I kind of enjoy. Um, so they came out this this best defense stuff a while back, and I didn't pick any stuff up. I do have I know I have the Namor issue, 
So this is the Silver Surfer issue, obviously. It's a really sick cover. I like that. Like I said, I'm not really a big variant guy. But when I see two Captain America issues, and two variants, and this is the Marvel Knights version. I don't know if there's a ratio of these or whatever, but this is Captain America number four. The Marvel Knights variant. And this one is just phenomenal. This is the, I think, I don't know if it's, and it's um, I'm going to pull it out because I'm going to, I think it's Max Lim, I think it did this cover. Let's see. Yeah, so Max Lim is the Battle Lines variant. I don't know what that means, but this is a sweet, sweet cover. I love that cover. For 80 cents? Yes, sir. All day. <laughs> so, yeah. I think they had originally had a $7 price tag on this on the bag, but uh, got it for 80 cents. So, yeah. That's all the books I picked up at that haul. Um, hope everybody's doing well out there. Since everything's getting back to normal. Um, hockey's over with now for my son. The team didn't do as well as we kind of hoped. Um, the last few games we played short. Some players, for instance, the last game we played, we lost 7-2. to two, Which you'd think is a blowout, but it was 3-2 going in the third period. Our best player took a 2-10, and a 10, set up most of the third period. Um, we had nine skaters for the game, so take him out, leaves us eight, and they had 20. <laughs> so, needless to say, our, our boys and girls are pretty tired coming that third period, but my son didn't have a goal and assist that game. He finished with, uh, five points, three goal, uh, yeah, three goals, two assists in eight games. He actually scored, what, three goals in the last four games, so he did pretty well. So normally for the past you know, four years, he's been playing defense. Four and a half years he's been playing defense. And this year, he played left wing for the first time. So I thought he did pretty well. Um, so that was fun. He's playing baseball now. Still pitching pretty good. Although coach doesn't, coach doesn't pitch him as much as I would, as much as he would like. I I just tell my son, go out there and wherever the coach puts you, go out there and play and do your best. Um, start off hitting the season really well. Cooled off, had a nice hit last game. Um, so, so yeah, we have playoffs coming up soon for that. But that's about it. Um, I'm not sure what else I got coming up next. I do have some more hockey cards stuff that I want to keep showing off. I have a bunch of uh, jersey cards I kind of want to show, do a video of. Try to do something a little different than just comics. Um, it's not really what the channel is, but... Uh, or what I've typically done. But it's the kind of stuff I like. So I hope you enjoy it. <clears throat> and uh, I guess that's it. We'll see you next one. Thanks. Bye.